two top Southern California universities were major contributors in what's being considered a huge breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. For the first time ever, the FDA has granted full approval to a drug proven to slow the progression mm -hmm. of the devastating condition. KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict spoke with researchers and an affected family tonight to get their reactions. Joy? Yeah, guys, I mean, this is really groundbreaking in the world of science, which has struggled to slow this simply mm -hmm. debilitating disease for so many families. But the drug is called Lecanemab, but it will be first be sold under the brand name of Lekimbi. And many are hoping it just simply gives them more time with those they love. Every morning, it's a brand new, fresh heartbreak when I see a tiny bit more of her is, is impaired and uh, there's nothing I can do. Richard and Maureen Wade have been together for more than 50 years, but the last five have been a challenge. About an hour from now, she won't remember much of the detail of this interview. I'm and not sure, we'll you know, see. Maureen has Alzheimer's, but learning the first ever drug to treat it was just approved by the FDA gives this family hope. That'd be great. Give her more time to be herself. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. And it's that type of dream that could be a turning point for more than six and a half million adults diagnosed with this debilitating disease. It's clear that this drug slows disease progression. And this is the first time we've accomplished that. And that's, I think, a huge step. Dr. Paul Asin is a neurologist at USC and director of the Alzheimer's Therapeutic Research Team. They were part of the clinical trials for the new drug, Lakimbi. Everybody's different, but by and large, people who were treated with the drug as opposed to a placebo arm slowed progression. The clinical trial of 1,800 patients shows the drug slowed the progression of Alzheimer's by almost 30 percent. It works by using an antibody to attack the amyloid proteins that clump and prevent the brain from functioning normally. So this treatment is an antibody that gets into the brain and can help clear those amyloid plaques from the brain. Dr. Keith Vassell has several patients in the trial at UCLA. We were uh, very pleased with the results. It's a, it, it offers a modest benefit when given over a year and a half. It can slow the disease course in real world terms by about uh, five or six months. But five or six months of no decline would mean the world to families like the Wades, who are just hopeful they qualify to even try. It's the being passive and, and being helpless that is the most frustrating. We wanted to do at least something where we're fighting back. Now, the bad news is that this drug is not cheap. It would cost around $26,000 a year or $1,000 a session. Medicare is saying it will pay 80%, but of course, not everyone will qualify, and it has to be closely monitored by a doctor as there can be serious side effects. And guys, right now, the drug has to be administered through an IV, but there are some more trials that maybe it can be self-administered through a shot at home, and that may mm. make it even more accessible to more people. But again, very expensive, even at 80% Medicare, you're still paying 200 bucks a session two times a month. Mm -hmm. That's $400. A huge breakthrough, though, that could be life-changing for so many yeah. people. It is a big start. So much yeah. hope. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Joy.